Welcome back, guys, to the G&T Show. So if you followed along in our previous show, Glenn made fun of the loose powder racing against the press pellet. Oh, I did? Yeah, you did. So in today's okay. episode, I'm going to show you how to improve the sensitivity of the loose powder by running under vacuum, but there's a trick. So watch and see. Excellent. Okay, so you're right, Ton. I, I made fun of the uh, loose powder because of helium atmosphere, but today you're going to show us how to run it in uh, vacuum, how to prep it for that. Yes, so, but before we do that, let's go ahead and make the cup first. So you have the three parts to making the cup. All you can do is just put the film through, use any type of film that you want out there, press it through, and you're gonna have an empty cup here like this. Okay, so it is important that you weigh your um, loose powder here. So what we're gonna do is we're using uh, boric acid here as a representative powder. Okay, don't need that much, maybe about less than a gram or so. Notice Ton's got a disposable Slurpee straw there. <laughs> yes, I love these things. Okay, once you do, pour it in. Okay, tap it down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to basically sandwich it down. So there's multiple things you can try out there. We have a filter paper here that we cut to kind of the same size, or you can use any like the aluminum cup here or the plastic backing here to place inside the loose powder. So that's gonna keep it down flat in the bottom, right? Yes, now the trick here is the cotton round. I get this in the makeup section in Walmart or any convenience store. You wanna get about two cotton rounds, okay? And what we're gonna do is we are going to press it down so that there are no gaps. And if you notice here in the cap, there are two vent holes. The reason why we're using the cotton round is that it's breathable so that you can put it under vacuum. Perfect. Okay, so now the last thing to do is to put your prepped loose powder in the cup into the sample holder. We have here the Quantex, the Optimex cup, and the Performance cup. They all have the each individual centering rings here, so I'm gonna just place them all in. So here is your Quantex, Optimex, and Performance. Looks easy. Now all you have to do is load the sample onto the system either by using the tray or manually onto the system. So by using this simple trick with the cotton round, you should be able to run your sample of the loose powder under vacuum and it will help out your sensitivity. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. And remember to click the like button.